and a security guard held me there by the hand, even though my face was on every single pamphlet and brochure, he still didn't believe that I was cleared because I didn't have a wristband. All new at 6 tonight, a prominent Valley designer is speaking out, claiming he and his staff were both verbally assaulted and threatened at Fashion Week El Paseo. Michael Costello spoke with News Channel 3's Peter Dowd about why he pulled out of a scheduled show with just hours of notice. That's right, John and Karen. The Emmy Award winner and Project Runway alum has been a regular at Fashion Week El Paseo since 2011. He says now, in the wake of what happened with this year's show, it's most likely his last. Valley designer Michael Costello was all smiles on the runway at his show Sunday for Fashion Week El Paseo. But behind the scenes, he says things were anything but glamorous. I really didn't like the way that happened. It was so uncalled for. It was so uncalled for, and someone needs to be held accountable for this. Costello posted his outrage on social media, saying he was verbally abused, discriminated against, and disrespected by the head of security, who introduced herself as Tina. What exactly happened? She belittled every member of my staff, and um, she said things that were just inappropriate and condescending and treated everyone with disrespect and made it very impossible for all of us to really do our job to deliver a beautiful show. Costello says no one from Fashion Week will give him Tina's last name. He says a different security guard blocked him from going backstage. This is... 12 years of me doing the show and the first time a security guard ever had to give me a, a very hard time to get into my own show and then clear it with Tina and then Tina come and give us even more of a hard time. In your social media post, you use the words abused, threatened, bullying, discrimination, assault. Did Tina do all those things? Yes, she did. Not only, not only did she call me a few words that were inappropriate and said multiple things that were inappropriate but she threatened my brother's wife fashion week al paseo sent us a statement which reads in part we are saddened to hear of the events that took place during the michael costello show to learn that he or anyone faced any kind of uncomfortable situation at our event is not acceptable the individual managing the incident was subcontracted their actions and words are not representative of fashion week al paseo we value those who speak up to ensure improper actions are addressed and eliminated, maintaining a safe, comfortable, and fun environment for all. Costello abruptly canceled a scheduled trunk show. I do not want to come back to El Paseo Fashion Week because of Tina. Is there that any way you would return to El Paseo Fashion Week? If someone makes sure that Tina has absolutely nothing to do with it, whether she's an independent contractor or not, then I'd consider it. Costello says on or off the runway, respect matters. It's just really, really super important to be kind to one another. That, that message can't be more important to me than anything else. Costello says he will always be grateful to Fashion Week El Paseo for the last 12 years and for the support he's received from fans and the community. We put his entire interview and the full statement from Fashion Week officials on our website, KESQ.com. We should also mention that KESQ is a sponsor of Fashion Week El Paseo. In studio, Peter Doubt, News Channel 3.